I'm excited for today's uh for this week. This is gonna be a very fun week. We have a bunch of fat earnings, crazy earnings. The entire calendar is stacked. Oh, yeah, what I'm strange. saying is it's stacked. Yeah. it is it's growth week. A whole lot of growth companies are reporting, and you know we love our growth stocks around here. Uh it's it's gonna be one of those uh weeks that are um fairly bullish in my opinion. We are also seeing the um the infrastructure bill getting passed. So uh I think is it signed or is it signing tomorrow? Uh yeah, Biden's gonna sign sometimes this week. All right, so wait for that. That should be it should be extremely fun. I got an extra hour of sleep, so I'm kind of excited about that. Um, and that's pretty much it. And welcome, welcome, welcome to the oh, two daddy bits, your trade idea show hosted by yours truly, the trading daddies. I am your host, the master crayon either. And as always, what's going on? The, the co hostess with the most <laughs> Saint John, Saint Kathleen's the most sheezy is in the easy, dude. Are you excited? I think you know, like when you wake up and on a Sunday, like, oh my god, can it be three o'clock already so I could check futures? Is that is that a thing? Is that a thing? We we, we have a lot of uh, earnings to cover this week. A lot, a Looking lot. Looking at it right now, yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. What's like the most notable one reporting on Monday? Uh, PayPal. 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 Um, you got Roblox, Trade Desk, um, Space, Galactic. Oh, short that. Yeah, Clover. <laughs> oh, come on. Also AMC. What do you mean, also AMC? What what does that what does that mean, John? What is, and what Tuesday, is all the, also Tuesday mean? we got Palantir, Workhorse. Yep. Yeah, ah, short Workhorse. <laughs> Neo, Coinbase, Upstart. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm like on the fence about Neo. Upstart, Upstart needs to come down, but I yeah. feel like it's gonna run. Yeah, uh, Fubo, Plug Power. Ooh, that, one, that one's gonna be volatile. Uh, yeah. When you have DoorDash, Unity. Yeah, no. we, we have a lot of uh, g- good companies uh, coming out this week. Right. Uh, also, Wednesday we got Disney. Ooh! That was gonna be huge. Yeah. I'm in. A, I'm in. A, I'm in a Disney swing. Actually, I'm kind of excited about that. Hey, hey, Disney always beats uh, earnings. They do. They do. And they typically run about three to five percent. They do. They do. Yeah. On each direction. Yeah. If you guys are interested to know how we play these earnings, make sure you guys hit up our friends over at Bust Down Academy. Bust Down investments.com right on this beautiful sunday let me get you let me hit you guys with something nice i think i I got something cool going full position and not waiting for confirmation will result in no gains and extended starvation bust down academy bust down investment ham or no go ham or eat spam (laughs) yeah go ham or eat spam (laughs) oh man oh man or, or enter neat or eat luncheon meat. Like, you know, the third world spam. You remember that as, as a kid? Th- those were those were the days when I would I would just eat spam and uh, and rice all day. Well, okay. So there's with two wa- different... With, like- with a side of water. And and here, check this out. So, all right. I, I cook a lot, right? So I, I always tell my, my kids, I was like, oh, you, you guys are eating good. You guys are eating, you know, steak, shrimp, you know, rice. Back in my days, you would only eat spam. You you run a whole hibachi in your house. Yeah, man. And they're like, yucky food. I don't want that. I want PBJ. Oh man. Oh man. Ungrateful, man. No, they, like I like spam. I like spam as a whole. I just don't like um like the the generic kind. I remember when I was a kid, like my uh my nanny would come home from the grocery store and she would like, yeah, so my nanny would come home from the grocery store, and she would. Um, I told her specifically, "Hey, spam, S P A M, spam, right? That that's what it says on the can." She so come home with maling, with maling and and luncheon meat. We got issues. We got so, issues. We get, we we firing people out here. Japanese version. <laughs> I hated maling, bro. There's something wrong with it. I hated it so much. It didn't taste right. That ain't me. <laughs> it ain't me. <laughs> it ain't me. It ain't me. Damn Drop that. Oh, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Hit that post notification bell. Give us a nice preemptive thumbs up. I don't even want to say so because I don't want to offend people. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Only the real ones know. Only the real, real ones. ones know what Mali would taste like, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Drop yeah. down in the comment section below the stocks you guys want us to cover. <laughs> and with that being said, let's get to it's it so after this up. intro. <laughs> Oh my god! So messed up. It's like worse than beyond me, bro. Dude, like, dude, that's not even beyond. That's beyond beyond. It's Bed Bath and Beyond Meat. <laughs> Maling, Maling is a. If, if Maling was a stock, it'll be shorted. Yeah, non-existent. It's it's somewhere from a shack. Oh god, Ugh. I get GBs from the Maling, right? All right, guys. Wah, 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 wah. Member gains. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, there you go. There you go. We got some, uh, dude. Friday was amazing. Yeah, it was. Friday was nuts. So I'm excited. For, uh, I'm excited to show everybody what we did collectively as a group. The boy Rada. The boy Rada right here. Right. Nice, uh, nice profit on AMD. Good stuff. Captain J. Captain J. 455. Nvidia, off of Nvidia, Tefleezy Foshizi, nice bander, nice one thousand dollar hairs. Yeah, I think I made a mistake on Disney. It ran. It ran some more, yeah. It ran but some more. If it, if it pulls back, yeah, I'll uh, I'll get back. It ran some more. We're gonna cover yeah. Disney right before earnings. I I do feel that there's uh, there's yeah. there's some uh, bullish sentiment because on the daily chart, if you guys are you know following our trades mm -hmm. at all. On the daily chart, it broke the EMA 100 and it ran kind of after hours. So, yeah. super excited about Disney. Um, I managed to sneak out uh, some Airbnb wins. I'm mad about Airbnb, by the way, because I closed it, it ran, and it ran yeah. to 202. Yeah. yeah. Ran to 202. Peloton. <laughs> this, was, <laughs> this was a degenerate trade. Oh, man. Peak degenerate. Crazy. Yeah. It's bananas, right? Uh, yeah. This is uh, the week for uh, the captain. $10,000 for the week. Show us the way. Show us the way. Not. Imagine imagine pushing buttons and waking up uh, and doing prep overnight and just waking up on time and being prepared for the day and you're done in like five to, five to ten minutes. Just imagine that, right? And making ten bands off of it. It's possible. You guys are just sleeping on us, right? Yube. Nice docu sign. Not not even on the docu sign wasn't even on the on the radar, but he managed to sneak out some gains. Good for him. Matt Matt closed out Disney for seven seventy four. Good on you, Matt. Knowledge three ten on Nvidia. Solid move. Solid move. Boy Ricky, oh boy Ricky one seventy on an Nvidia put. Good on you. Good on you. Here comes Andrew. Here comes Andrew. Sixteen bands for the week. Got that. Got that ninety percent. Um, ninety percent. Here we go. You know, I don't know. I'm gonna offend people today. Go ahead. Oh my god. Shaker. My salt shaker. <laughs> shake it like a salt shaker. <laughs> oh man. Uh, here, we go. here we are gassing up John. <laughs> You guys ain't got nothing else to do, huh? Uh, no, we, we have nothing do. else to do, right? Um, again, if you guys are interested in making the same type of gains, make sure you guys hit up our friends over at Bust Down Academy, bustdowninvestments.com. Uh, the infrastructure bill is about to get passed, right? It passed this, it passed the house, it passed the Senate, got kicked back to the house, mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. house passed it. It's not you know what we wanted, but the compromise there is that the um progressive arm of the democratic party is allowing some concessions they have to uh they're they're willing to give up to gain more uh but i do think that we're in a uh, a space where we're gonna see a lot of these growth stocks about to move so the first one we want to talk about is tesla john how do you feel about tesla <sighs> Just want to let you know a little disclaimer right now before uh, I start bawling tomorrow. Okay, for our show, I do have three calls. That's it. You start bawling? Is is that a prediction? I have three calls. That's it. I don't want to say anything else. All right. 
it, it this is the space we're kind of confused at with Tesla. Okay. Because Tesla gave us two red days. They're not the biggest red days, but they gave us some slight pullback. Okay. Mm -hmm. We are now there's there's a lot of room here. If we're gonna take a look at Tesla, I'm gonna if you can take a look at Tesla, there's a lot of room here all the way to the top Bollinger band, which is thirteen hundred dollars. A lot. All right, a lot. And we've seen Tesla move. 50, 100 points in the past mm -hmm. how many days? In the Easy. past how many weeks, right? Mm -hmm. Easy. Okay. couple of things to note, though. We are oversold. Overbought. No, overbought. I mean, we're overbought. overbought. We're overbought. And there was some news regarding Tesla saying that Elon is trying to sell 10%. What if he's pulling a reverse psychology? Because, you know, he's he's he, he's really ticked off about the whole taxing, you know, unrealized gains, right? True, true, true. I'm, I'm trying to find that. Um, find that. There we go. I'm trying to find this right here. Oh, oh, that's all over the net. Yeah. And then uh, thanks for voting for yes, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so for those who are uh, who don't know, John and I have a running bet. John and I have a running bet that Tesla, te John wants Tesla to split Feb 28th by, no, by Feb 28th. So if Feb 28th passes and there's no split, we were there's some money involved. <clears throat> it's Shout not going to split. It's not going to split. I don't think it's going to split. Shout out to D. Shout out D. D took the bet also. But I, to be honest with you guys, I feel that this is a chart that's extremely scary to trade. We're, I mean, off of news, off of like a big 100,000 unit, 100, unit order, right? And there's still a lot more things that Tesla needs to show in order for it to gain this type of valuation. Again, I'm a, I'm a big Tesla bull. But as it stands right now, this needs to breathe. This needs to rest. Just like, just like AMC, like a few months ago, when it shot up to 77, John, what did you say? This is, this needs to rest. I'm not comparing, I'm not comparing AMC to, to, to Tesla, but as far no, as AMC needed to go to zero. Well, whoa, 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 hater. There's a <laughs> shake it like a salt chicken, shake it like a salt chicken, shake it like a salt chicken. <laughs> You, hey, are you are you starting to put salt on it? I I dare you to make a video doing that exact thing. <laughs> you should do that video, do the same exact thing. But, um, the, see, here's the thing: like, if if news of of Elon saying that he he's going to he's thinking about selling ten percent of his of his stock, people, how much is that? Calculate that. Like, from rough estimates, it's like two point six billion dollars. It was no. It, it was actually uh, around like twenty six billion. No, twenty one billion. Twenty one billion. I'm way off. Twenty one yeah. twenty five. Yeah. Yeah. See, imagine that kind of um, liquidity going back into the market. Like you know, what I mean? imagine that many shares going back. Ten percent of his shares. He c controls what fifty one percent. Or it could just moon to thirteen hundred, thirteen fifty, and call it a day. I mean, he's waiting. That's more. That's more taxes for him. Right, his brother already started selling off on Friday. So be prepared for both scenarios because an infrastructure bill could make this run, or maybe see. All right, you want you want to you want to get a uh, a compromise scenario. He sells like how, off, right? I like how his tweets like just came out this weekend, and the infrastructure bill just came out this weekend, and it's like it's confusing. You don't know, you, you don't know which sides to pick, right? Which, which yeah, side? it, it's it's confusing, right? right? I'm not gonna it's say very, anything. I, I'm just gonna say, you know, I got three calls. Hey, <laughs> go ham, eat spam. Go, go ham or eat maling. <laughs> go ham or eat maling. But you know, be prepared for both scenarios on Tesla, because yeah. if this is a legitimate rug pull, yeah. be prepared for some a lot of downside. Because look at this; it has a lot of room to six hundred dollars on the bottom Bollinger man. So, from a technical standpoint, this is not looking good, right? But I mean, it is Tesla. We don't know. It's not trading off of technicals. It's not trading off of fundamentals. Tesla's Tesla. This is the way it is. All right. The next stock that we want to cover is Lucid. I'm liking Lucid, actually. I'm liking Lucid, John. 
Lucid for long term. I think that's what we want to do. Lucid long term because you know what? You know what it's actually showing us? Lucid hmm. long term because Lucid is now number two, in my opinion, right? This is just me. I think Lucid is number two in terms of the American EV race. The reason being is it's the only other EV car company that has proof of concept that's actually delivered cars. It's actually delivered cars, right? You have uh, Rivian, who's about to IPO on the 15th, I think. They also have, like, they've, they have cars that are moving. You've seen that in the, in the Jeff Bezos Blue Dick videos. <laughs> Blue you know he has a music video? Does he have a music video? Look it up. Jeff Bezos. Yeah. Mm. That's the song, Jeff Bezos. Oh, oh, oh yeah, Jeffrey Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait for you to get your your your. What do you call? I know. This? I'm gonna start plugging that shit up. Be like, Jeff. Yeah, anyways, Jeffrey. look at look at look at what Lucid look at what Lucid did. This is this is a flag. Right, flagpole. Yeah, we saw some 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 rest right here, and then it's riding the nine. You know exactly what Sammy says: ride the nine, and you'll be fine. Right, um, but we saw a, an amazing, amazing bullhammer last Friday, and it's yeah. actually it ran out. Did it run after hours? Let me see. No, but it held its gain after hours. Mm -hmm. Right, and the reason why is because there's a lot of um, people like reviewing the cars, and they're saying that the cars are really cool they're amazing um this is just a euphoria trade in my opinion uh would i go long term yet on this no i'm gonna wait for a healthy pullback before actually loading up on leaps because it's already ran you can't you can't expect this to go even higher um by how many multiples and they're reporting earnings when are they reporting earnings soon i think they're reporting earnings soon let me see Earnings date. The 15th. Next, is it next week? Next Monday, I think. Oh, Tuesday. Yeah, next Tuesday. Is it next okay. Tuesday? Way yeah. off. Yeah. It's, oh, no, no, Monday, 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 Monday. Is it? Okay, Monday. yeah, Monday. Okay. Yeah. So, it's, it's this is a pre-anticipatory run to earnings. Will I hold this through earnings? No. Are they going to give a good guidance? Maybe. But that's where I would like to take this pullback and go longer on Lucid in the long run. John, what do you think? Well, I'm thinking about taking uh, leaps on this when you, a lot of people, if you if you go on, um, like, let's say, stock twits, which I don't recommend, <laughs> people are actually comparing this to the next Tesla, like 10 years ago. Because it's possible. Yeah, they got a long way. Not, but uh, you know, they're, they're only into EVs, though. But if you look at Tesla, they have a, a multiple. So many things. Yeah, streams of like portfolios, right? And the, I don't know, Lucid is just a straight EV play, but the cars yeah. are nice. They're solid. Okay. They're expensive too. But uh, for this one right here, yes, I, I do want to treat it as a, a long-term uh, play uh, because I, I do think that they're still undervalued. Uh, that's just my opinion, but not right now. Uh, they're, they're still way, you know, mm -hmm. they're extended right now. So. so we're playing this euphoria trade. I'm going to cut it right before earnings. Or if it gives me a good enough pop the next this coming week, I'm done. I'm not even, I'm not, you know, mm. my calls are way up on these. And I'm not going to uh, risk losing any more gains. But here's the thing, though. Here You want to hear, you want to hear a very, um, a very uh, interesting theory that I came up with. Mm -hmm. Lucid comes out with a vehicle, right? 520 mile range, mm -hmm. right? 520 mile range. Um, it has Alexa integration, all the hoopla of a luxury vehicle. Do you think that Elon is just sitting there not thinking about ways to one up him? I mean, he's Tesla's trying to lower. Uh, I mean, they just uh, up their their prices, but uh, t Tesla's going into you know the cheaper models. Remember, mm -hmm. no, the forty six eighty batteries are going to be a game changer. Yeah. Yeah, that that too. They're they're trying to make it uh, more affordable for the mass consumer. So, mm -hmm. yeah, um, I, I don't know. Lucy's Lucy's trying to cater to you know the the, the upper class. Eighty grand for an uh, an EV is is not cheap, man. <laughs> no, for a base model too. For a base model. For a base model, they're coming out with their with their truck pretty soon. That's yeah. too expensive. 
That's too yeah. expensive. That's why yeah. I'm still I'm still you know a very big Tesla bull. I love the company. Yeah. Right? But if you're looking for a cheaper EV play that has high uh, potential upside, this is it. Yeah. Right. So next stock that we want to cover is uh, tied down to the infrastructure bill. ChargePoint. ChargePoint is the number one charging play out in the market right now because they're the ones with the most charging stations in the country, right? Yeah. You have other uh, companies like, is, is Plug one? I know Blink is. Blink is. Uh, no, not Plug. Um, Blink. You also have, uh, isn't Go EV one of them as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. EV Go. E or EV Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah there, there's so many of them. But if you want to stick to you know, the, the, the top um, tier players, uh, ChargePoint is one of them. Yeah, ChargePoint is definitely one of them. One thing to note, though, we've seen ChargePoint uh, at the latest highs of $36.80. We've yeah. been trading around this, like, area for quite some time now. The real, um, the real resistance that I see here is, yeah, right there, three times. It touched three times. So I do think that this can this has legs above twenty six dollars and twelve cents, right? Especially with the because, infrastructure bill. Especially with the infrastructure bill. Yeah. One thing to note is we hit that right. We hit that twenty six dollar mark a couple of days ago last week, and it rejected. It didn't want it, right? But it is bouncing off the EMA nine, right? It's bouncing off the EMA nine. We are seeing an EMA twenty that's about to touch the the the, the hundred. Mm -hmm. Right, the EMA nine crossed over the the, the hundred already. The EMA twenty crossed over the fifty. This is this is turning a little bullish, John. Yeah, it seems like it seems like well, it's because uh, EVs are are getting some uh, some momentum, and, right? Yeah, and majority of these um, charging stations, uh, charging uh, stocks, you know, they they're getting momentum, they're getting sympathy uh, sympathy play from uh, mm -hmm. from the EVs. Mm -hmm. So that's so why I do they're like charge point. They're if you're going to trade, yeah, yeah as, as John always says, if you're going to trade a stock, always trade the one and two. Yeah, the, the leader. Always so try the to, yeah. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So I would definitely keep charge point in your watch list. I'm going to take a position on charge point tomorrow if I see some good value. But as far as uh, from a day trading standpoint, 2612, I like I like that level, John. Okay, sounds good. Right. Right, good. And yeah. anything else you want to add? No, I mean, eat. Go ham or eat spam tomorrow, guys. <laughs> it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun week. We were November has been very like November has been consistently amazing for us. Yeah. Last November was amazing. But I think coming into this coming year, it's going to be a really good year because now we're well equipped where we know more now. Yeah. All right. We're going to be super excited about uh, next year. But if you guys are interested, make sure you guys hit up our friends over at Bust Down Academy, bustdowninvestments.com. New to trading, don't know where to start. Just want to join a group of active retail traders who have your best interests at heart. Hit up our friends over at Bust Down Academy, bustdowninvestments.com. And make sure that you guys hit up our Instagram or, you know, all our social media. Follow me at Trading Poppy. Follow John at John C. Trades. Tradingdaddies.com for all your news, your merch, right? Shout out to, to wash.brand. If you guys are interested, make sure you guys hit up our uh, hit hit me up at wash dot wash dot shop, dude. I don't even know my websites, like, <laughs> you know my damn websites. Also, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, hit that post notification bell, give us a nice nice thumbs up because John, if they gave us a thumbs down, your mama is on a Sunday morning. I see you. <laughs> Drop down in the comment section below the stocks you guys want us to cover. With that being said, let's get trading, guys, and remember that the charts don't lie. Yeah.